All right, hey folks. Well, let's continue with this guy. So, um, I need to quickly do this thing. Get the freezing hands. Get the dismember. Get the charge. Tighten the carapace. Sprinting. All right, good. Well, let's go. So, um, let me see. So we can do the red rock thing over here. And there's this thing that I'm kind of intrigued by. So I don't actually... Let's see what we're gonna do. Maybe we're gonna go to Red Rock, get the thing. I don't even know if I want to do the Red Rock thing first, if I'm honest with you. Maybe we can just do... I don't know. Like, there's no protocol that says you have to do that first, right? So... I have to see how we're going to approach this. Essentially, the first thing that we really kind of need to do is to, uh... I can't... I, oh, yeah, now I know. Numlock! Always be mindful of your, of your numlock. Um... Yeah, so we need a little bit of... So what we... Yeah, maybe we're gonna go to Red Rock, actually. That's a good way to get some... You know, get some stuff going. Some proper equipment and, uh... Injured. Let's heal up. And uh, some experience going. That's probably probably needed. So uh, yeah, oh, glowfish. Let's get rid of those glowfish. Do we have a torch? Yes, we do. Um. Yeah, I mean, we need to get a few levels going to get our armor up, for example and our freezing hands and uh, you know I would also like to find some stuff like a proper light source and so on now that I know that you can equip um, glow spheres into the throwing item slot I'm actually you know this is actually pretty great so um, we don't actually need to worry about having both hands used and so on this is actually pretty incredible um, Man, this would, like, during the times I was using the two-handed build, th this would have helped me a lot. Let's go down to Red Rock. Let's actually do Red Rock first. I think that might be a good idea. There was a bunch of dumb shit that happened the last time, if you remember. Because, uh, you know, because you know. Because of the teleporting stuff. But uh, you know, we might be we might be all right this time. Wooden buckler. Uh, let me just get the buckler. We don't have the blocking thing. Oh, a small trinket. Interesting. What is that? Oh, he had a sphere of negative weight. That is a lucky drop. I mean, since we're playing a high strength character, these things are not um, all that important as they are with a. Not high strength character, I guess. But, uh, you know, pretty great. And I was killed. On Chameleon, yes, I need to remind myself that it's still pretty rough in, at the start. You get a lot of damage. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, yeah, we're gonna just play replay the most recent character. I kinda wanna, before we um, experiment some more, I kinda want to make this character work. I have the feeling once you get out of the beginning doldrums that this is going to actually become pretty cool so um, yeah whatever let's do it this way why not the thing is we need to get out of the beginning doldrums right oh yeah wait how was it yeah always forget it but um, and some kind commenters are always reminding me of that you know you can uh, you don't actually need to always do the plus thing. You can just go immediately and get all the stuff. Okay. Let's do some soul searching. By that I mean box searching. Fine wafers, iron daggers, copper nuggets, arrows. Alright. Copper nuggets. 
Okay, I can get rid of those actually. So, um, let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, a weird artifact. That's a grenade or something. We're not even going to identify it because this goes straight to our friend, to Argive. So let's get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Um, get rid of the first, we don't need those. Yeah, good. Um, carbide hammer. Well, well. Not really a lot of interesting things here, but um, that's okay. Just gonna get all the lead slugs, just in case. Alright, um, let's go to Argive. We're gonna give him the little thing. Oops, yes, indeed, hello, give artifact, weird artifact, yes, we have completed the quest. Um, let's go over here, and let's take a look at that thing. So this is a shrine to, uh, Urim, I guess. Deep in the wilds of the scientists' quarter of Tatara, Urim stumbled upon a clan of birds performing a secret ritual. Because of his icy eyes, they accepted him into their fold and taught him their secrets. Interesting. Okay. Tatara, erstwhile roost of scientists. Where is that? Oh, it's actually right next to the... Right next to the rust wells. That's cool, so we're gonna go there anyways. We're gonna go there anyways. Um... Yes, may the earth be the earth. We already got his stuff, yes we did. I think the warden does not... Oh, he only has black robes. Interesting. Okay. So let's go. Let's get this party on the on the way. Um, we only... Did we already give the thing to Argive? Yes, we did. So we only gave him one thing, so we are not level 2 yet. And uh, yeah, already some snap jaws. This can actually be a little troublesome as early in the game as we are. So uh, we're going to take this slowly. I'm going to definitely equip the Boskin gloves. Um, hands. Oh no, I can't. Of course, I have the freezing hands. Ah. Okay. Let me get them one by one. That would be sweet. Yeah, let's just pick up a bunch of this stuff. Oh, someone shot me with fire. There's a Kindle-thumbed Snapjaw Hunter. Mm-hmm. Not a fan of that. It's not a boss or anything, but... Uh, could be could be troublesome. So we're going to... You know, as I said, we're going to take this slowly. Because uh, I don't want to get murderized immediately. So how are you doing? Still fine. Yeah, these guys are tough at the start, huh? So I'm going to take you out. Let's sprint away. Freeze him again. He's still fine. Oh well. Take some damage, but um, we can run around forever, yeah? Uh, just freeze him all the time. And um, that is possible to do. Oh, he's injured, okay. The good thing is when you freeze them, you know, they also become slower. That means we can run away better. So this is going to be a little cat and mouse thing for a bit. I don't want to take any chances here. Oh well, let's attack him. Okay, well. So we have an engraved iron short sword. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is, has something to do with Urim. <coughs> Acting against the prohibition on the practice of cleaving skulls, <laughs> I'm interested in that because I like cleaving skulls, led an army to the gates of Old Alamu. He sacked Old Alamu and slaughtered its citizens, forcing them to change its name to Urimgrad. This is interesting. Let's get this. So there's a Urimgrad somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm interested in finding something out about that. I'm badly wounded. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
what we're going to do is we're going to pour water on ourselves just to get rid of the fire. I'm going to try to go south and uh, rest up a bit. That fire guy, you know? That fire guy. Not really a big fan of him. Okay, there you are. Kindle Thumbed Snapjaw Hunter. It's you. Always been you. You have fire, I have ice. Okay, let's see. There's some water here. That's. Oh god, scalding steam. Jeez. Mm hmm. Not a fan. You know, we might actually try to take the way around. Because uh, I don't really feel like dealing with this guy right now. What we're gonna do is we're going to misconduct ourselves on a bunch of glow pads and glowfish. I just realized that this might sound bad. I did not mean it that way. I mean it in a attack and murder way. Which is maybe also not great, but uh, what is this? Fossilized remains, okay. Jesus fucking Christ, what's even going on here? That's a giant fire. Brian Stock, what do we have here? Tar encrusted bones and more fossilized remains. <laughs> Holy shit. This is a pretty fiery map. Or a pretty fiery seed, I must say. I've encountered way more fire than I'm usually comfortable with. Okay. I'm going to just take out some easy enemies that give us a uh, requisite 10 XP. Just to get some. get our first level up. Although it's pretty tedious actually to take out the glow. Glow crows. Glow. no, the dragonflies. So. Oops, oops. Still fine. Still fine. Nah, I slipped on the ice. That was what happened there. I dismembered the glow pad. Ah, the glow pad stem. Ah. Okay. So I got this guy. To keep an eye on our health down there. Oh, well, let's rest up. For a bit. Okay, we're fine again. So let's murder that glow pad. Two more. So let's kill that one. And dismember the thing again. Okay. Maybe there's something down here. Yeah, it's a glowfish. May you glow no more. Alright, so what we're gonna do, I'm going to put this into freezing hands for now, so that we have a better attack. Because, uh, yeah, that was not cool so far. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Including a haunt chameleon. Which are actually a problem now. So, uh, yeah, we need to... As I said, we need to take this slowly. And, uh... Get out, get out of the starting doldrums. So that's always a little, you know, a little, I don't know, not tedious, but um, depending on the build, the start of the game can often take a while. I don't actually mind that, but uh, that's usually the reason why I can't really, when I end a longer run, I can't really uh, start another one immediately. It's just, uh, you know... Spitting vine, I'm not a fan of that. Um, because it's sort of, it's really demotivating, and you really, I really can't stomach doing the start of the game again. Oh dear, nice one of these guys. Okay, are you coming? Oh no, you are attacking me. Why are you attacking me? Oh god, I have a bunch of things here. 
easier. And uh, let's light the torch again. And the salamander. Get rid of the salamander. Alright. Okay, and there's a irritable tortoise. Um, these things are, I think, friendly, right? Because we have the carapace. Yes, they are friendly. And being friendly means they are also hostile against everything that is hostile against us. That's cool. We killed the Horned Chameleon, level 2. Attribute point is going to go straight into Strength. And I'm going to put a Mutation point into Carapace. Yes. That was too hard yet again. Totally forgot about that. Oh yeah, this is what we're going to do to increase our toughness. I remember. Okay, let's see. Um, X proficiency. What we're going to do is... Um, Mm, charging strike. You know what? I'm gonna wait until we get cleave. Can get cleave. That would be nice. Is this? There was something about bare necessities, but um, can you can you scroll the? Can you scroll the message window? Control M is message history. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's see. Oh, the bear meat. Yeah, okay. I get it. Tastes aw awful, but uh, at least meets the bad necessities. Is this the red rock? It should be, right? It didn't tell us that it is. Did I actually not take the quest? I might have not taken the quest. Um... I didn't. I'm a dumbass. Also, I need to be careful because uh, going south will lead me straight to the... to the fireman. I think he was here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no. He was here. Alright. Ooh, dear. Kindle thumb. No, no. You just... Do whatever you like. Oh, no. It's one of these guys. Hey. Let's be... Let's freeze you. Well, at least... Getting freezing hands to two is actually kind of good. Because, uh, yeah, it does a lot more damage. The hand axe, I think that's not better, right? What do we have? Bronze battle axe, yeah. Okay, so this is where the guys are. We're going to leave them alone for now. Uh, oh, there's another Kindle-thumbed asshole. At least he's dead now. Let's just pick up all the nonsense. We can sell it easily. Ah, uh, oh, 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 uh. Oops, that was... Man! You know? This is tough love in the beginning here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, um... What did I need? Yeah, I wanted to get the quest. I'm a dumbass. Yeah, I think I just got his stuff, but I did not get the quest. Alright, now at least we have the Red Rock quest. Um... I think I should... Could have also just done the Red Rock thing. Get a corpse and get the quest later, but, um, you know, let's get rid of a bunch of stuff here. Bronze dagger hand axe, yeah. The engraved thing actually um, adds a bunch of value to the item. You don't really have anything interesting, do you? No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, well, just give me the water for now. And let's go. There we go again. But now we're gonna actually go to Red Rock. And, uh... Oh yeah. It's this area. <laughs> Whatever was going on here, I don't even know. But we're gonna leave that burning. I'm not gonna mess with any of that. And just go north. There's our friend the tortoise. And now we are at Red Rock. Hey! 
I mean, we were here before, but uh, well, we got the quest thing. I think the, I think we could not have actually sequence broke this because the first quest step is to go here, so that would actually become problematic. Okay, wooden buckler club snapjaw corpse. I'm just going to equip the buckler. Which gives us a minus one dodge value. Since we, mm, we're not gonna equip the buckler, it actually doesn't make any sense for the time being because we don't have blocking, and uh, it just actually it's actually bad for us. So let's not do that. Okay, let's hope we let's hope we don't have any more Kindle thumbed idiots here. Yeah? So I'm really not a fan of that. And this guy has an iron battle axe. I'm gonna equip that. Um, yeah, let's pick up the long. Oh, let's pick all this. Pick up all this stuff. We have enough room to carry for stuff to lug around. And uh, we're going to at some point get a chest. Put that chest in somewhere in Joppa, so that we can actually so store some stuff. So yeah. Man, this really took away a bunch of anxiety I always had about inventory management. Because, uh, for some reason, that just... is just really tough for me, always. <laughs> like, inventory management is one of the things I like the least in games. I think it's an essential part of Cave of Cud. So make no mistake there, but, uh, so what do we have here? Engraved with a scene from the life of the ancient sultan Xertafa. Against the prohibition on the practice of setting a jewel into a talisman. Well, interesting prohibition there. He led an army to the gates of Shagalab Spire. He rescued its, its citizens and they declared him Sultan of Kad. In his honor, they changed the name of Shagalab Spire to Xartafa City. Mm -hmm. I really like that. You get really a lot of stuff about the ancient, about ancient lore here and the Sultans of Kad. So these are sort of, I guess, ancient sultans, right? And you can sort of dig into their past and what they did and so on. And there are actually quests associated with it. I'm actually pretty excited to, um, you know, do this first quest here and uh, go to that to that site of the sultan. Not just because we might find interesting stuff there, but also because, uh, you know. I'm going to learn some more stuff about about Kud. Oh, hey, 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 hey! <laughs> he leveled up, killed something and leveled up. Okay, let's do a big old freezing here. Come here. It's still fine. We are injured, he's still fine. Okay, we need to take this slowly. We can just do the little cat and mouse thing again here. He's injured, we are also injured. Oh no, you go away. Alright. <laughs> I mean, the freezing hands are really good because they are really good for keeping melee enemies from attacking you. So how are you feeling today, sir? Badly wounded. I think we can take him out. Yes! And we gained a level. Reputation with bears went up, with mechanimus went up. Alright. Um, so what do we have? We have his left hand. An iron longsword. Oh, well, nothing really interesting. But we leveled up. That's good. Um, so, I'm going to put that into freezing hands again. And we're gonna finally get cleave. Alright. There we go. Getting somewhere here. Okay, what do we have here? Two-handed sword. They are really heavy. Um, mm hmm.
There's a box of crayons here. Which counts as an artifact, so we can get that thing to Argive. That's good. Oh, well, that's all good. And some chests that we're gonna take with us. Hello! Give me your chest. Oops. I'm injured again, so, uh... Let's not be too cocky here. Rest until healed and continue. Lots of snap jaws over here. And there was a large group because of the of the boss. I get that, but uh, yeah. Oop. Let's open that chest. What do we have? Kilted shawl, bunch of vine wafers, and another copper knight. Okay. Studded leather armor. Huh. If we didn't have that carapace, that would have been a nice item. No, not really. You find them quite often at the start, but... Uh, how much are they? I think they are three armor value. So we already have that with the carapace, but yeah. Four more turns. Let's freeze that guy to death. Pocketed vest. Interesting. Uh, we can't use it, obviously. But what we can do, we can sell it. And that sounds even better. Copper nugget that we automatically got. Let's go down. Level two of Red Rock. Okay. There's some scalding steam, apparently. I'm not, um, out of that. Okay. But, uh, you know, I'm going to end the video, yeah? And uh, we're going to see each other again next time. For some more Chaos of Cut action. Bye.